In this video, I will demonstrate the example RGB LED. This example is included in the Asande library, so you need to download and install it first. Please see below for more information. You will find the example in examples Asande RGB LED. I have already opened it here. And in the header of the file, you can see a lot of useful information like connections and also a link to the specification of this example, the RGB LED, showing the component that we're using that has one pin for each color, red, green, blue, and uh, here you can see the connection and also the how, how it will look in Asunder Studio. And up here I have a webcam with my Arduino and my LED connected and I'm checking in the device manager that I have COM6 and now I will start a Sunday studio and add a connection a COM port okay COM6 is the one you can select but okay it's Correct. And then we want to know the board rate. And the board rate you are setting in the setup when you're calling Asande begin. You're adding the board rate. So, okay. So now we have this icon representing the connection. So now we we will load the features from the target Arduino board. Like that. And just move a little bit like that. Uh, basically, we have, as I showed in here, we have one pin for each color. So in Asande Studio, each color is represented by three panels or features. So they are the same as they are for different colors. And then we have the last panel here that is set color, where you can set a combination of red, green, blue. So I can like push blue or white or green or yellow. Each feature is defined in the Arduino example. We're looking at the three panels for one color here, like the red. We're looking in the beginning of the file, looking at Asande feature macros for color red. Here we can see that we have defined int events, int command, and enum command. Events are sent from Arduino up to Asande Studio. And the commands are sent from 
Asanda Studio down to the Arduino. So the int event here with the title red is this one. It has a range defined between 0 and 255. The int command, also named red, is this one, where we are putting in a value and then sending when we're pushing the button. Then we have the enum command. It's called adjust red and that we see here, adjust red. And each button is defined here with a value that is sent when the button is pushed and then the title on the button. So we have like max, max. The commands are connected with a function. So when you're pushing this button, you get a message and this function will be called. So this is the function where we get the value, we're checking the range, and then we just take the value and put it into the driver. And then here you see when we have received the value, we're actually sending back the value to this panel. Okay, thank you, that's all. Thank you for watching.